Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we will explore simplifying algebraic expression. So for this particular question, we are supposed to simplify the following. So usually we will look at the like terms. So 7a plus 2a, how many a in total? Yep, this will equal to 9a part b 5b minus 8b what about this so 5 minus 8 i would have negative 3b left after that okay for part C, negative 4x with 6x, okay, so it's negative 4 plus 6 or you could also see it as 6x and minus 4x, so all together I will have left with 2x, alright. Next, and I would have my part D. Part D will be negative 2y minus 3y. There are negative 2y, negative 3y. So therefore, we would have negative 5y. Okay, in total, part E. I will have 1c minus 8c plus 2c and so I could do it slow and steadily 1c minus 8c this will give me negative 7c plus 2c and finally the final answer negative 7c plus 2c I would get negative 5c for this question. And let's move on to part F, where we have d plus 2d minus 9d. You can do it step by step from left to right d plus 2d this will give me 3d and 3d minus 9d i will get negative 6d part g where i have negative 3p plus 1p plus 4p so again you can do from left to right slow and steady negative 3p plus 1p negative 2p continue to plus 4p 4 minus 2 positive 2p and for part h negative 2q minus 5q minus q again we are going to do from left to right and i will have negative 2q minus 5q negative 7q still need to minus away one more q so we would get negative 8q for the final answer as we move on to the oops last part i 4y minus 9y plus 5y what would that give me 4y minus 9y that will give me negative 5y. 
negative 5y later on I plus my 5y it will give me 0y and 0y is actually equals to 0 okay so we don't need to write the 0y we just need to write a 0 that will be good and finally my j negative 4m minus 2m plus 5m minus m minus 1m so I could do it from left to right slow and steady so this will give me negative 6m plus 5m minus 1m and negative 6 plus 5 this will give me negative 1m minus 1m so total there are negative 2m as the final answer with that we have come to the end of this problem and let's move on to the next problem Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to this part of the problem. Um, and we are going to simplify the following. And do notice that for this part of the problem, we actually can have different terms. So you will see Mr. Tan start to do this, you see. And, and negative and take note the negative the sign in front of the variable belongs to that variable itself. So for part A, I will actually get 3n minus 4n and that will give me negative n. And for my next part, constant, positive 10 and negative 11. So it's a positive 10 minus 11 that will give me negative 1. And that will be the answer for part A. Okay. For part B, 3k minus 4k, 3 minus 4, negative 1k, negative 6 plus 7, that will give me positive 1. And that will be the answer for part B. So you can see that Mr. Tan is the approach would be to identify the light terms first and simplify the light terms. So for part C, identify. But before I identify this part here, I do see we minusing a negative. So for this particular question, we simplify first, okay? 3m negative, if we minus a negative, it is the same as adding it. Okay. So we must first simplify if necessary before we continue to simplify the light terms. So I identify the light terms first. 3m, m. So it's positive 5m, 3m plus 5n, 8m. 4n, positive 4n, negative 2n, 4 minus 2, positive 2n. And that will be the answer for part C. And let's focus on part B. So for part B, again I see that I do need to simplify first. Because I see we are adding a negative. When you add a negative, it is the same as minusing it. And when you minus a negative, it is the same as adding it. And then we identify the light terms. In this case, the x and the x. Before we simplify the light terms, negative 7x minus 2x, that will give me negative 9x. Identify the light terms, y and y. Negative 3y plus 3y, 0. 
and when it is a zero, we don't have to write it down. And that will be the answer for part D. And we are done with this question. Let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the problem where we continue to simplify the following. And for part E, since there's no uh, operation on negative terms, so we are going to go straight to identify the like terms P and P and we are going to simplify it okay so 2 over 3 P plus 1 over 6 P 2 over 3 I'm going to times 2 times 2 such that it will become 4 over 6p plus 1 over 6p <coughs> negative 1 quarter and negative half q this one I will times 2 times 2 so that I can have a negative 1 quarter q and negative 2 quarter q so that I can continue to simplify this will give me 5 over 6p minus 1 over 4 minus 2 over 4 that will give me negative 3 over 4q and we are done having simplifying all the like terms so for part f for part f though we are actually doing operations for the negative terms so for part f i will first simplify it 7t when you plus a negative term it is the same as minusing the term and there's a negative 5 over 3t minusing a negative is the same as adding the term right <coughs> and therefore we will continue to simplify this and I have actually identified the like terms already right so now it's just for me to do some operations 7 over 1 so I'm going to times 3 times 3 to get 21 over 3t to minus away the 5 over 3t and this is also 4 over 1 meaning I'm going to times 2 times 2 so that I will have a negative 8 over 2 av to add the half av so that I will be able to get a final answer 21 minus 5 will be 16 over 3t negative 8 over 2av plus half av negative 7 over 2av and that will be the answer for this part f for part g um, part g since there's no operations on negative terms, um, I'm going to identify the like terms. Rs minus Rs minus 3 over 2 Sr. Do take note that Rs and Sr are like terms. Okay, they are equivalent. So meaning that I am going to simplify this. 10 over 3, I'm going to have it as, I'm going to times 2, times 2. This is 1 over 1. So I'm going to times 6, times 6, times 3, times 3. And you will get 20 over 6. Rs minus 6 
over 6 rs minus 9 over 6 sr and rs are the same and of course this one is by itself minus 6 sv And all I have to do now is just to have 20 minus 6 minus 9. That will give me 5 over 6 RS minus 6 SV. And we are done simplifying this because there are no more like terms. And for part H, again, is to identify the like terms first. I saw a UW, negative 11 over 4, plus 2 UW. So this will be 2 over 1. So I'm going to times 4, times 4, to give me negative 11 over 4 UW, plus 8 over 4 UW. I will also have 2 over 7 minus 9 over 7 w so this is <coughs> positive 2 over 7 w minus 9 over 7 w and let's continue to simplify negative 11 plus 8 that will give me negative 3 over 4 u w Positive 2 over 7 minus 9 over 7. This will give me negative 7 over 7 W. And because I know negative 7 over 7 will be equals to 1. And that is the final answer. Okay, this is important. U, W and W are unlike terms oops so we do not simplify them okay and that will be the final answer for this question as we move on to the next question hello everyone welcome to this problem where we are first required to simplify the expression on top and oops and to express the expression on top I'm going to first identify the like terms and I saw this okay so it will be negative 2x plus x that will actually give me negative x negative 4 plus 5 5 minus 4 positive 1 done or you may also write it as positive 1 negative x both are fine okay as for part b find the value of this expression when x is given the value of negative 3 this means that i am going to substitute x as negative 3 how do i do that 1 minus every time we substitute a value the x now it's become negative 3 so we are actually minusing the negative 3 and we now know that every time we minus a negative value it is the same as adding that value in so the final answer will be 4 and we have come to the end of this problem so let's move on to the next question hello everyone welcome to this part of the video where we need to find and manipulate and simplify some algebraic expression we are given that the total number of the atoms in a compound is n plus 2n plus 2 so for part A, right, we just need to simplify this term, n plus 2, n plus 2, and I first identify the like terms. 
So n plus 2n, total how many n? 3n. And of course, plus 2. That's the other term. And we are done with part A. As for part B, now they give us the value of the n is 10. Meaning that when we substitute the n, we are now going to substitute n as 10. So 3 times 10 plus 2. This will give me 30 plus 2, 32. Okay? 3 times 10 is 30. Alright? And that concludes this question. Let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the problem where we are given that there's a concert hall with three sections, A, B and C, and there is ticket price for each section. Find in terms of X the total cost of the three tickets when we purchase one from each section. So for part A, right, I would like to actually introduce a table where we have the section and we have the price of each ticket. So that it's neater and easier for, oops, for us to see clearly, okay? So I will have this. Then after that, section A, where they give us the price is X dollar. So it will be uh, in dollars. So I will have X. Next. For B, uh, each ticket in B is $50 more than A, meaning that for B, it will be X plus $50, okay? <coughs> and for C, is $30 less than twice of A. Okay, meaning that for C, twice of A is 2 times X, 2X, and I need to minus away 30. So with these three prices in the table form like this, it will be easier for us to find the total cost now. Yeah. So for the total cost that is required is therefore x plus my x plus 50. Continue to add my 2x minus 30. So we just need to simplify the like terms. x plus x plus 2x. So total for x 50 oops 50 minus 30 positive 20 and that will be the cost in x dollars okay now for part b what do they have <gasps> now they tell me hmm interesting that the what is the total cost now if the cost for A is $90, meaning X is now $90. So this is pretty straightforward. So the total cost now would then be, still in dollars, 4 times, take note, now my X, I'm going to roll, no longer write as X since they give me $90. I have to times 90 and I continue to plus the 20. So final answer, 360 plus 20. $380. Okay, and that concludes this question.
let's move on to the next question and as you like as you watch this video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and if you like this channel do subscribe to my channel hello everyone welcome to this question where we are given a triangle and the sides are in algebraic expression express the perimeter in terms of x and y meaning the answer will have x and y terms inside so for part a is simply perimeter is just addition of all the sides so I will have 2x plus 3x plus 4y and this will give me I just need to identify and simplify the like terms 5x plus 4y and this one is in cm done okay as for part b now they give us the values of x and y so same thing perimeter also in cm therefore this will be equals to 5 times 12 so I mean, every time you substitute a value in do use a bracket plus 4 times y is 15 15 and we will get 60 plus 60 120 cm right and that concludes this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice day